Welcome back to Ian's Fish Room. In today's video, I want to talk about one of the most hated things in the aquarium hobby, and that is algae. And maybe why we shouldn't hate it so much. So obviously this tank is absolutely full of algae, but I'm going to be honest, this is done by design. I wanted an algae tank. Now I think it's a beautiful scape. Most people, when you think of aquascaping, you don't think of algae. You actually think of algae as the nemesis to aquascaping. But in this aquascape, I mean, there, nothing gets more natural than an algae scape where you just allow the algae to take over the tank and i'm going to help you guys learn how you can do this on your own because one of the things that we do when we talk about fish we talk about how to keep our aquariums is we talk about all the things that we can do to avoid algae but what if you don't want to avoid algae what if you want to actually have algae in your aquarium how can you do it and how can you make it work for your fish So one of the things you'll see in this aquarium, and I did this on purpose for this video, is you can tell I have not changed my water in a, several weeks at this point. And typically when I fill up an aquarium, I fill it right up to the top, make sure all the water is there that needs to be there. Um, and with this one, I've allowed it to just evaporate over time. I mean, I have a lid on here. It's one of these old school lids. It's not necessarily the tightest fitting lid, but there is a lid there. And even with the lid on, it has obviously spent quite a bit of time decreasing the water level and losing some of that water. But I'm not worried about it uh, because I'm not worried about fighting algae. So a lot of times when we talk about doing frequent water changes, the reason we do frequent water changes is to keep our algae down. I don't have to worry about that because I want my algae to grow. So I want to do this on camera. Obviously, I haven't changed water. I want to actually test my water for you guys right now so that you can see what my water levels are, what my parameters are. It'd be fine for me to say, oh yeah, everything's fine. Lots of people say, oh yeah, all my parameters are fine. But let me actually show you what my parameters are. I have, that way, zero nitrates, zero nitrites. My GH, or water hardness, looks like it's probably somewhere in that I'm guessing it's probably around that 150 mark. Um, it, it, you know, it's hard to say. It's not It's really in between those two colors, I think. Uh, obviously, it doesn't match up perfectly. If we look at my, and get that to focus, my buffer, or my cage, that's right there around that, you know, probably around 120 is my guess. Again, it's hard to say, uh, but where it needs to be anyways. My pH is right around that 7.2 to 7.5, somewhere in that range. And my chlorine is zero. So even though I haven't done any water changes in this and I haven't added any chemicals to this and it's been several weeks, all of my parameters are absolutely great as far as everything I'm testing for. Now, a couple of ways I do that is I do allow the algae to grow. And algae does a great job of removing nitrates from the water. So a lot of times we're looking at, okay, nitrates and they build up and how are we gonna get rid of them? Well, you know what? Algae is great at taking care of nitrates. You don't have to worry about your nitrates. It takes care of nitrates. It takes care of ammonia. All those things that we worry about in our aquarium, algae pretty much thrives off of. And so if you have excess in your aquarium, it's gonna go ahead and use those to grow. The other thing within my algae scape is I actually do have some crushed coral down here at the bottom. Now, one of the things you can run into is because you have algae in there and algae doesn't need a balanced system to grow. If it has excess nutrients in some form or another, it's gonna do well. So because of that, I do like to keep some crushed coral on the bottom just to make sure it doesn't deplete my minerals too much and then I have a problem with my water getting too soft. So if I start with some crushed coral, I guess to allow my algae to grow and then I can just refill the tank when it starts getting too low and right now it is definitely getting too low. A couple of different reasons I absolutely love algae and the reason I allowed this tank to go this way. So you can see obviously it is absolutely full. There are snails in there. There's some 
looks like some fish poop you can see uh there's a bunch of different fish you can see a lot of little particles floating in the water uh and again that's not necessarily bad there's the water is good for the fish and the reason i love an algae scape though is because it is perfect for growing out fry so all these fish in here and these don't necessarily always go together guppies and i have some celestial pearl danios in here and if i take a closer look you can see these celestial pearl danios are starting to grow out you can see all their color coming in um, but all of these fish in here started off as fish fry and i love algae scapes for growing out fry there's lots of different things that live in algae and there's lots of infusoria lots of other micro foods that the fish can eat um, and if there's any excess foods from the things i'm feeding them that's going to be taken care of in the algae while we're talking about the fry i wouldn't mention some food that i've been feeding a lot of my fry recently and that is some decapsulated brine shrimp now this is something i have not fed in the past um one of my buddies said it's one of the things he absolutely loves feeding fry and so i was like you know what let me tr give it a try and i'm gonna be honest i think it's done a fantastic job i mean look at the color on this guppy and i've been feeding them a lot of that if i can get it in focus so the reason I wanted to show this video to you guys is because when we talk about aquascaping on some of the other videos, I do like a very nice aquascape. But most people think of algae as the enemy of a beautiful tank. And I think this tank's a great example. Like, I'll fill it up and show you what it's going to look like once you actually have all the water in there, kind of make it a little bit nicer looking. But I'm not going to touch the algae. And I think a nice algae scape is an absolutely beautiful tank. And it's something that anybody can achieve. It just takes time. It has to, you have to be willing to let your algae grow. You leave your light on a little bit longer. This is all hair algae. I also like other types of algae. I know a lot of you guys fight with blackbeard algae and absolutely hate blackbeard algae. I love blackbeard algae. I wish I could grow a tank full of blackbeard algae. I haven't been able to figure that one out yet. But for the hair algae, I know for my, my water, typically I have heavy loads of iron. Hair algae loves iron. It will definitely grow really well with that type of water. Um, and so for me, this is what I am absolutely loving about my aquariums and when I can grow an algae scape. Now, I'm probably actually gonna be tearing this down because I do have some other projects, but I wanted to make sure I showed it to you guys. So just something for you to think about. There's a lot of benefits to algae. It takes care of the nitrates, it keeps your water clean, it provides oxygen in your aquariums, it gives lots of places for small fry to hide. If you wanna actually do some colony breeding, this is a great way to do it because those eggs can find little spots that the fish aren't going to eat them. Those adult and parent fish won't eat their fry because the fry have room to hide. The eggs have room to be able to start to hatch. Really a great way to do that. Um, again, depending on what type of fish you're looking at. Like obviously if you're dealing with fish who like to eat algae, it might not work nearly as well. But for a lot of fish, this is a great environment to breed fish in. So I really love the algae scape. I think it looks good. I think it's great for breeding. I think it's great for healthy fish. Might be something you wanna consider in the future for yourself. And it really maintenance is super easy. I don't have to do really a lot of maintenance. All I'm gonna to have to do is refill this tank periodically uh, if I was gonna keep it running much longer, but it is gonna be going away. And I'm gonna be doing some other projects that I'm gonna share with you guys here shortly. So. Let me know in the comments, do you guys enjoy this algae scape or is this something you're just like, nope, that's hideous, I would never do an algae scape. Thanks for watching, make sure you hit that subscribe button and check out these other aquascapes if maybe the algae scape isn't for you.